Hey guys, this is Woody Perry, and welcome back to NASCAR 2011, the game for race 27 to 36 for the running of the first chase race out of 10 at New Hampshire. So without further ado, we're going to change the paint scheme as I completely forgot to do that last race. It'll be the, the Haas 39 car. I like it because it's black and red, and I'm sure there's some symbolic reason that you can do for conspiracy theory, whatever. So we're going to get right into crew mode, and I'll be back in a second. So as you see, last race was at Richmond. I ended up winning the race. Pretty much dominated that near the old. I mean, I only led to like two laps, but did very well. So it, it has the information to sure about the other NASCAR team. If I do any of the points, you're not be able to try to do any points. Okay, yes. So I do that. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to load into something. So it's going to be very hard. 15 laps, off standard, full on, same format as every race. Jeff Burns on the pole, so he's probably going to win this race unless I can do something about that and win. So we'll see. So we're going to accept that. All assists are off. And we're gonna get right into this, and we have to wait for another loading screen. All right, finally loaded. We're gonna get our beautiful cinemax as always. And it looks like uh, Montoya second, Kurt Busch third, Gordon fourth, as you saw in, like the, the scoring highlight. So we got the flyovers there to the sky, even though there's no white for America. So I guess you can say it's racist because you only have blue and red. So I don't know. <laughs> so pace car is off down pit rows. We're about to get this race underway. Jeff Byrne will take us to the green flag. I almost forgot who was leading this race. We're starting it. Come on, game. Get ready. And green flag is out. We are underway for 15 laps here in New Hampshire for the first chase race out of 10. Again, points-wise, we already have a 100-point lead or 200-point lead, so we're actually okay right now. But God damn it, I want to win every chase race as possible. And I feel like this one, Dover, and Kansas, I have a very strong possibility of doing so. So we're going to try our damnest to win this race. And we're just going to try to ride the outside line here. I did a little bit of practicing here. Not obviously as much as I did for other tracks. Because I do feel confident about that. About winning. But watch me fucking completely mess up and lose all that position. Or track position. Or track position. The, the chance to win. Because I'm being fucking arrogant. Hopefully I can back my words up and actually win the race and not look like a jackass. And Robbie Gorn blocked me. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're going to put this car into turn three. And as you notice, these, all these AIs the car cannot really hand, uh, hang on the bottom line as well as I can. And again, I'm trying to be very careful not going off the banking because, you know, there's a bit of a banking difference. If tires touch that, you just nearly want to spin out. At least that would, that's how it is on this game. Um, it's kind of weird. But it's not 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 too bad. You know, it's good, right? The Jeff Bird's still leading. It, you know, the pole sitter just always is the fastest car. Just whoever is the pole sitter almost always wins, unless it's like at Michigan or something, and then they'll kind of bow for the lead a little bit. But you know, other than that, not really. We clip the, the the bottom part of the track, or the very last banking part of the track. It's a tiny bit there, and it obviously didn't mess us up all too much. We are gaining on, uh, we are passing people, it's not a very fast race, so I don't think the inside line is going to be the number one preferred thing, and I just clipped the side of uh, Paul Menard there, so I might actually just go back to being on the outside line, because it seems like I can gain a little bit more up there. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe. It is weird how they all just, all of them just kind of slide up the track there, like it's, ugh. And yeah, I, I, as soon as I say, oh yeah, I'm going to be on the outside line, then I just completely contradict myself like an asshole. So, you know, I can't even say my own true words for less than a minute. So, I don't know. I don't know. But we do have 15 laps. I was a bit confused when I was practicing because I didn't know what lap to set it on. I put it at 13, even though I should know it was at 15, but my brain fucking had a brain fart and, you know, couldn't remember. So, even though I could have just easily looked back to, back in my New Hampshire video early this season to confirm my my questioning but I didn't do that because I'm I'm, just, I'm stupid you know I didn't think that I didn't think that far ahead I'm like Toriyama <laughs> um all right we're gonna put the car in a turn one and two once again we're sliding up the track and almost got in the junior there but we're about halfway up through the field so hopefully by lap eight we're already up in maybe like that the low 20s or the low teens which I feel like is a possibility I feel like that is something a goal that we can reach please don't hold just barrel. I'm just. I'm just so. I'm cuddling that freaking inside line. Like I'm just. I'm not on the verge of getting spun out from that. And it's just they all slide up the track. It's weird. And there we go. We get by him. It looks like it's gonna be one of those Atlanta finishes, Daryl. Where literally it's gonna be like near the end of the race. And I'm just gonna catch up to the lead cars. So I don't know. 
holy brake lock up. Did you see that? Like, my brake's locked up so damn much there. My god. Oh god, sideways off the corner. Control yourself, what if? I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm getting a little tail happy here, and I'm getting tail happy in other spots too. And that's very sexual. I just wanted to let you know that. Just, oh god, Rule 34 would have so much fun with that. I'm pretty sure it exists. The tail happy. Oh, that'd be funny. Anyways, we're in 18th spot. We're not doing too bad. Tony Stewart, my homebred piece of dough, is not doing all too well. But it's alright, because your boy, Ryan Newman, no neck ass, no dick man, Newman, is flying through the field. Kind of botched turn one, but we're going to diamond it in there. Well, kind of. It didn't really work. But, you know, we need a couple spots. And also, this race in 2010 was the one-year anniversary of Mark Martin's last win. That was at New Hampshire in 2009. But yeah, that's another also one. a very sad thing to think about, because... Uh, Mark should have won in a 2012 Pocono race. But no. Or even uh, the 2010 Martinsville race, too. Because uh, he was gaining a shit ton at the end there because he had no back end. Uh, if, if only. And, and that Michigan race in 2012 until he hit the inside pit wall and almost died. Yeah, we, 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 things happened to Mark. I can't even speak. As we're already inside the top 10, we're getting a little bit sideways, almost at the freaking the cone there, and Trevor Bain is inside the top 10. Oh my god. What is this? Uh, I don't know. I, I think I can do it. It's gonna be close, Daryl. I think it's gonna be close. I'm not even sure who's second in points. It could be Jeff Gordon. I'm not really sure. He could be a little bit... Okay, he's like, I think he's in fourth, so... I just need to be ahead of Gordon. But god damn it, I want to go for wins! So we're gonna try. I'm obviously gonna try that. Try to win as much as I can. You know, and Casey Kane again. A very solid race. You know, I can't fault him. I can't fault the man for you know being in Richard Petty Motorsports, a junk car, and you know what, managing a solid run. You know, I, I can't deny that. So we're oh god, clip the apron again. Yet like it's just, it's just scary because you just don't know, and you gotta use a little bit of driving ability to get through there. <laughs> We got a couple laps left to go. We got about about three laps to go when we hit the line this time by Jeff Burton. And they're just in a straight line almost throughout the entire field. There's really no major positions changing unless, you know, if I make a move on someone. And we get to, to two laps to go. No, three laps. What am I talking about? I can't even... But to go through the inside here once again, we're going to get right by Jeff Gordon, who is second in points. We just need to be ahead of him, and then we'll be kind of set. And we do just that. Now all we got to do is get by Kurt. Montoya, and it almost looks like it's like a mirror of Richmond where I can just gain like two positions in the one corner. Fly off a of turn four here, and it looks like we're already going to go for the lead. And Montoya's giving Jeff Burton that, that kind of not really two car tango, and we're just going to throw the car in there once again and then maybe get the lead. I don't know. Look at that. Montoya trying to get the second position, but Jeff Burton is going to get a hell of a run out the corner, and he's going to maintain his position in second. And yet again, for the second week in a row, with about two laps left to go, I end up just passing everyone. It's almost like a mirror of Richmond, except my front end's actually intact. So about to hit off the final corner now for the white flag. And, yep, the final lap is out. And it looks like we're going to get our very first win in the chase season. This will be our 11th win of the season if I can obviously just make it to these next two corners and not do something stupid. And it looks like uh, most of the positions are going to remain the same. Yeah, it looks like Burns still going to get second. I'm already probably a good second or so ahead of the leader. Or not the leader? I'm the leader. I, oh, is there another what if in this race that I'm not aware of? So off the final corner, and it looks like I'm going to get my win. 11th win of the season. Yes. Yeah. And I, and I can say once again, this field is mine. It's mine. It's mine. So DB Quickie time once again. Hopefully, you know, I don't do something stupid and hit the outside wall. I can't even circle around. I don't, I don't even think I hit the, uh, the outside wall there. So you know what? We're making progress, you know? It's just like, uh, you know, it's like I do fine. I don't hit the wall the entire race. And then I'm doing my DB Wiggy tribute. And I pick a DB inside wall. Oh, God damn, why am I yawning? Uh, it's 130. Uh, sliding through that corner. It looks like, yet again, our DB Quickie tribute will not be fully realized. Because, obviously, the freaking limit of burnouts is, is very... So Newman's going to do his victory celebration. 
away from the fans, very disrespectful. I'm pretty sure people on Twitter and uh, other social media sites are going to be very angry, even though I think even by 2010, like, Twitter wasn't like a very big thing yet. It, was, it started like, it kind of started around like 2011 when you kind of started like really using it. I guess in an ask girl. So it's like around 2011, kind of. I, I don't fucking know. And I should know because this was not too long. I mean, it was only six years ago. I was only like 15. But I mean, I should know. But no, I'm a fucking... I'm fucking me, daddy. So, <laughs> obviously, Newman ends up winning. I'm s still celebrating. I was so confused at what was going on that I forgot to skip it. I skip it this time. We're about to reach the, the maximum level in this game. As you can see, the dots slowly going up just a teeny weeny bit. But nothing too bad, obviously. And um, I just want to see the points because, I mean, maybe we get another weirdly transitioned part of this game. Uh, let's see. Jeff Byrne ends up getting second, Bush fourth. Most of this position looks the same. Look at this. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Then you got eighth, ninth, tenth. Like, there's barely any lead changes or changes in position at all. Most of them either stayed the same. Fucking David Rudiman gained two positions. That's the most, except for me, in this entire race. That's ridiculous. Uh, so where she keep looking down to order? Damn, Harvick in 18th. Shit, it's not good. So we're gonna continue. Let's look at the points and see where the rest of the field shakes up. This should be a very, very wacky start. Position changing. And it's only 60 points. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get lambasted and castrated right in the comment section saying, you know, oh, what if? It's not that big of a points lead as you think because they didn't do the chase. Again, I can't remember how, the, how they did the shit in this game. So obviously the points reset, but I didn't know. I, but my brain didn't think of that. So you know what? You can lambast me as much as you want in the comment section because I am not. I have not uploaded this yet. I'm, I'm recording these two like back to back, so I'm just figuring it out now. Obviously, when this will be up, it'll be a couple days after that Richmond one, so I'll probably already in a mental institute after this video will be already uploaded. So I'm sorry, but yes, I only have a 60 point lead over Jeff Gordon, so I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. And Jeff Gordon is still is in third. Uh, he lost one. Johnson lost one as well. I'm only 60 points uh, ahead of Burden here. Now I'm going to really have to be worried about uh, Auto Club because that's going to be the one race where I know I'm not going to get a top 10 at all. So Hamlin's still in seventh. Uh, Good hold in 10. Stewart's going to be last. Damn, Stewart's last. I thought he, I, I thought Harvick finished for us, but I, I guess, uh, I guess not. Yeah, still, that's the... Uh, Goddamn, Harvick and Stewart are already almost a full race behind as well as Boyer. Like, damn near. Like, from 9th to 12th, are almost a full race behind already. That is crazy. So we're going to see. It's really the top 12. I mean, it did definitely shook up a lot since uh, Richmond saw. Alright, look at where did, uh... Most of this stayed about the same. Our gained one spot, so now he's ahead of the That's cool. So that was, that was New Hampshire. Again, a very very solid race. Nothing bad happened. I, I don't know. I mean, it was just like Richmond where nobody gained any spots. That's a shit fest thing on this game. Like, I know it's 15 laps. I understand that po that positions aren't going to fucking change rapidly, but it didn't move. It, it didn't move. The only reason why it moved is because I freaking passed people. I th that shit was fixed in 2015 and uh, 14 as well. Uh, to, to, even though they're, they're not perfect games either, but at least they they fixed that. I think Inside Line did as well. So uh, Next race will be at Dover. Again, this is a track I'm really looking forward to as well because I do feel like I can win that race too. And then I can feel like I can win Kansas. Now, if I can win those two, then I'll have a pretty comfortable point lead. So when I go to Auto Club and I get my ass knocked down, it'll be back to where it was when this first round started maybe. So I don't know. So thank you for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed, and I, if you stuck around at the end and enjoyed me rambling and shit, I appreciate it as always. I, like I always say, I do enjoy all the love, feedback, and support all of you give me, and even all the likes and all that, etc. So thank you. As, as always, this is your host. This is your Messiah Jesus. What if? And I'll see you all later. So have a good day, everyone.